living a good, wholesome, honorable, justifiable life, um, the parts of you that shine the brightest, um, the obviousness of the parts of self when expressing, you know, when I'm out at the store and people are expressing themselves. There's so much in an expression. So much. And I see it all. I analyze a person immediately because when I'm in my clarity, what they say so obviously portrays who they are in their depth. So, these parts of yourself that you hold dear, your um, main feeling of self, the parts of you that you enjoy reveling in, that you enjoy sharing with other people, maybe that one part of you that makes people laugh a lot, or that one part of you that makes you feel like you're triumphant, that one part of you that makes you feel confident in public. That part of you that makes you feel like you're a great lover. That part of you that makes you feel like you have something special to offer. Those parts of you are, are sacred. They're very special. And when we choose to live a good life, a wholesome life, a justifiable life, and an honorable life, those parts of ourself, those are strengthened. They're strengthened by the light, the goodness, and the joy of life. Making good choices strengthens the parts of self that we wish to strengthen. And making the wrong choices takes away from the soul in this way. Doing bad, not necessarily darkness, but a lot of the times on earth, darkness and bad, evil are connected for people. You know, darkness is not inherently bad or evil. It's just that most evil people are in the darkness. So, choosing evil corrupts the soul. It takes away from the parts of you that when you're on your positive side, in the light, in joy, you usually wish to harness and express and strengthen. You lose the better parts of you when you're evil. Mainly, evil people rely on intellect, wisdom, intelligence, and knowledge. C cunning, cleverness, and strength. Um, secrecy goes along with that. And then they use deception. And all of these things are mental. They're all mental and physical for the strength, of course, can be assumed. But none of those things have anything to do with what I mentioned before. You know, the shining parts of the soul, the loving parts, the sense of humor, the having something special to offer as a gift, those things. Those are for the good people, you know. So think about what you want to be and who you want to be on this planet. Do you want to be the good person who gets to keep those parts of their soul? Or do you want to be the bad person who loses it all? It's up to you. Love you.